the eyebrow. Ah, I just love it. <laughs> Welcome to a surprise upload. <laughs> I didn't plan this. <laughs> but Floor Jansson has just released a new cover of a musical theatre song, so of course I'm trying to jump on it as quick as I can. <laughs> Floor Jansson is back with Hank Bort singing a Jekyll and Hyde cover. I love the musical. Dangerous Game is the song and I thought I just had to react to it. If this is your first time over on my channel, hi, I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, a musical theatre performer, a voice teacher, I post reaction and analysis videos, covers, singing videos, subscribe and join the family. Seeing as this is added into my schedule, let's go ahead and watch this video. Jekyll and Hyde is a great story, a great musical, this is a great song as I mentioned before, so let's, let's just go. I feel your fingers cold on my shoulder your chilling touch as it runs down my spine what nice love it. I love how the music creeps into this song. You know, it's starting voice alone, a cappella. we've got that entrance. Make sure we get the note right. <laughs> we've instantly got a quite connected voice, but with an underlining of a breath quality. Only on a few words. Sometimes it's completely, you know, the vocal folds connected. Sometimes we've got a little bit of that breath underlining kind of coming through. A little bit of a vocal fry onset. Love it already. Notice on the word spine, we've got that a uh, vowel and we close the mouth right at the end. I mean, I think this is recorded over, but you know, the vocals are still there. <laughs> As it runs down my spine, watching your eyes. Ooh, nice slide. As they invade my soul, forbidden pleasure. I'm afraid to make mine. Nice. On the word mine, we had a lot more of a connected uh, balance mix there. Before it was kind of head dominant more, we kept flipping up to our higher register. And now we're really kind of, you know, getting a little bit of our anchoring from underneath, getting a little bit grounded, a little bit supported. I love the smile as well. The character's coming through. <laughs> At the touch of your hand, at the sound of your voice, at the moment your eyes meet mine, I am out of my mind, I am out of control, full of feelings I can't define. It's a sin with no name, like a hand in a flame, and our sins is proclaimed, it's a dangerous game. I love the backing as well. They've obviously altered it a little bit just to sound their style, Nightwish style, Floor Jonsson style, a bit more rockier, a bit more, a bit more edgier. It's great. Fits very well with this song. I love the phrasing of dangerous. We kind of broke up a little bit. Dangerous game, kind of giving us that little dangerous feel, right? Really, that's what is great about musical theatre. We are obviously singing and listening to the person's voice, but we're also listening to the story and noticing what why people are saying certain things, how people are saying them, what emotion is kind of driving underneath. It's really nice. And our sense is proclaimed, it's a dangerous day. The There's back in verses. The darker dream oh. that has no ending that's so unreal you believe that it's that lifted position on a dance of death that it just it just gives that elevated feel that bright feel that soft palette has risen we know that you know Hank Bort thank you for informing me phantom like is, is amazing but we've so we've got that kind of training in there right that bright kind of feel of that soft palette risen really lovely you can really hear that on dance I also again I'm gonna mention the eye contact I love how still it still he is with the eye contact and how it's just really thought out. The dance of death yeah. Out of a mystery tale The frightened princess Doesn't know what to do Will the ghost go away? Will she will them to stay? I know wait, there's no way to win 
let's just talk about what Flo's doing here. We started off very quite light, head voice dominant there. Then we kind of brought in a little bit of that tilt, a little bit of that cry on the second one, and then a little bit more, even more chest dominance on that last one as we kind of lowered into our, in pitch wise there as well, but also just, again, going through a different emotion each time. The score literally goes, How are we going to make that interesting? Let's change the quality of each of, of each time we do it. Will the ghost go away? Will she will them to stay? I know that way. Way. there's no way to win. All I know is I'm lost and I'm counting the cost. My emotions are in a spin. Nice. Cost and lost. Was that the words? Let me just go back. Yeah. All I know is I'm lost and I'm counting the cost. Obviously, I'm saying it with a British accent, but we're kind of going, all I know is I'm lost and I'm counting the cost. A little bit of an uh vowel because it keeps us a little bit grounded, a little bit more connected with our chest voice. And we need that as we're coming back down. We need to grab any opportunity to anchor and support because this song's going to go crazily high in a bit. And I'm counting the cost. My emotions are here. And we had a little bit of a whoa to Hank Port. Oh, whoa, whoa. The W helps us stay connected too. I don't know who to play. It's a crime and a shame. But it's true all the same. It's a dangerous game. Both of them are so in sync as well. It's really lovely to see that dangerous again. That, that's, that's, I like it. <laughs> It's true all the same It's a dangerous game No one speaks Not one word Not one word Are in our eyes I can't stop looking at their mouth position It's so relaxed, so easy And just allowing that voice to come out nothing's getting in the way nothing's trapping both of their the sound right and we're just really relaxed we're not you know the jaw isn't sticking out kind of wanting to help us with that volume it's just that ease quality to it it's really nice Here, we had it really eh, rather than here, eh, we allowed that volume again. I really liked what Flov did on We Don't Want To Hear, using that duh, that plosive, that duh, that another form of anchoring in our mouth. Obviously our body is engaged, but we've got another little bit of a support there from that duh. We really kind of spoke that as well. Don't, don't, we don't want to hear. Oh, let's listen to that again. We don't want to hear. on this is so good as well everything's very uh that fighting part let me just hear that part again yeah fighting feelings i can't define like everything's it goes with the music as well like their arrangement of this as well and just i just love the song <laughs> we had a little bit of a lift from hank bocht i mean he's a trained singer we know that he can sing this as well so maybe it's just his own kind of thing that he wants to add in just to feel that character kind of emotion driving in driven in from this song all i would say is that if you are wanting to do this at home try and get that note without letting this happen all that does it just tightens everything and it doesn't allow the freedom of movement from the larynx that we do want not necessarily for it to be lifted but we just want it to have that freedom to have that ease to it which obviously hank does so i think it's just an added thing here it's a sin with no name no remorse no shame fire fury and flame Cast the devil to blame I love that devil part. Devil, da, da. Everything's just 
again, we're anchored and you can hear that cry, you can hear that tilt in it. It's very, very, very good. By a fury and flame. the devil to blame. And the angel proclaim. Yeah, I mean, look how still Floor's face is. Her mouth, the tongue's lovely in the position. Hank's complete opposite there. We're kind of like lifting up a little bit, then we come back down. It's all character uh, development, character kind of emotion throughout the whole song. And each of them are just giving it whatever they're feeling in that moment, which is really nice. It's a dangerous game. Ooh, game. We kind of came off a little bit on that breath. What a great song to do as a duo and in this sort of rockier version like that. That was so good. That was a great duo. And like I said, a really great song to kind of make their own out of. Great duo as always. And I'm really happy they did something again together. If you haven't already guessed, uh, I'm becoming a very huge fan of Fleur Jansen. I think the way she delivers songs are just absolutely amazing. Her stage presence, her her characterizations, her voice, just everything. And, and the freedom of her voice as well. The, the way that she can just, you know, there are no limits. I really love Hank Park to sing with her as well. It's just a great duo. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, and the bell button to be notified anytime I post. And I shall see you very soon for another video. Bye, actually very soon, because this is the surprise video. So one will be coming very soon. <laughs> Bye.